The future is now for the Navy when it comes to security. They're showing off some of the advanced technology today. How about a robotic boat that uses artificial intelligence to detect threats and deter enemies? 13 News Now military reporter Mike Gooding has more. It looks innocent enough sliding around on the Elizabeth River off Naval Station Norfolk, but looks can be deceiving. It's the Textron System's common unmanned surface vehicle. It's all about protecting the HVA, high value asset, in this case, the USS John C. Stennis here at Pier 11. As part of its annual solid curtain anti-terrorism exercise, the Navy is testing out the unmanned boat to augment its conventional security forces. And so we do these exercises to, stay, to try and stay ahead of not only today's threat, but tomorrow's threat. Specifically, its job today is harbor security surveillance, to be on the lookout for any potential waterborne malicious threat and then to intercept it. The USV can operate for up to 20 hours and it removes sailors from up close dangerous operational environments because, well, it's a robot. Using artificial intelligence, it is fully capable of autonomous navigation and sea keeping operations and collision avoidance. Meanwhile, in the command center trailer on Pier 12, civilian operators monitor the vehicle's activities, keeping the human component in the decision making process, which is key. You know, we can't have two separate security departments, if you will, within security, one unmanned and one manned. They both have to work you know, uh, cohesively together to be successful in protecting our installations. And in the wake of recent attacks at naval facilities at Pearl Harbor and Pensacola, that's truly what this is all about, protecting the Navy's people and its assets however it can. Well, that's one of the reasons why we have exercises like this, is to try and stay ahead of uh, that threat and prevent these from happening. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.